Hey, what's good? I'm Jasper, 5'7 basketball player. Hashtag fun size hooper, you know the vibe. <coughs> and being as fun size as I am, I had to learn what that meant for a future of playing basketball. Clearly being tall is an advantage on the court, right? Well, uh, yeah, you are 100% correct. Us short people have to work at least twice as hard if we wanna play at a higher level. Being short has many advantages on the court and I'm here to show you what they are and how you can use them to elevate your game to a higher level. Let's go. First and foremost, as a short player, you wanna focus on developing your strengths rather than your weaknesses. When you show up to practice, you don't wanna grab a ball and immediately get into the low post and start throwing up 100 hook shots, right? You wanna go and do what you're good at, ball handling drills, shooting drills, etc. Yes, coaches will tell you it's good to be a well-rounded player, but if you wanna develop your game to the next level, you have to focus on what you already have as a short player. Quickness, coordination, and according to various studies, short people are less likely to develop blood clots the more you know anyway when I say quickness and coordination footwork ball handling hand speed reaction time and of course a short players secret weapon your first step for the sake of this video I've condensed all of those skill sets into one workout but if you want to see them all in depth go ahead and hit that like button number one advantage of a small person ball handling if you haven't already done so be sure to check out the other ball handling workouts on my channel I've already posted two two ball dribbling routines and one 10 minute daily dribbling workout you can do at home you know the slogan let's work even without a court hashtag fun size hooper start the movement start the movement can I get a like and a sub <laughs> Those are all my subs. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Four dribbling drills you can do to improve your ball handling. Moving figure eights, forwards and backwards. For this one, move as quickly as you can while hitting high figure eights. Make sure to stay low with your head up and butt out in an athletic stance. On the way back, do reverse high figure eights while moving backwards. Cross between behind touches. For this one, hit a cross between behind while touching a tree or a pole. You can also utilize a trusty sibling or a quarantine buddy to high five you after every move. For the third and fourth drill, we're gonna move on to two ball dribbling series. The first of which is gonna be two ball dribble unders. You're gonna pound two balls and dribble one under the other. Do this in both directions like so. Last ball handling drill is gonna be crossover exchanges. With two balls, exchange them from hand to hand by hitting a cross between or behind the back. Again, do this in both directions. If you're up for a challenge, be sure to check out my other workouts on my channel. I promise you, they will improve your handles if you stick with them. Next up, we got your first step. A great drill to improve your first step is double between the leg explosions. For this one, you're gonna hit a double between the leg dribble and explode as hard as you can forward, taking a power dribble while doing so. After you explode, stop on a dime, hit a retreat dribble to return to neutral. Go ahead and repeat that with the other hand and repeat until you're exhausted. Let me tell you, this one is amazing for improving that explosion off the dribble, which is so important for a short player. Another great drill for improving that key first step. Yeah! Hi. <laughs> Pursuing my dreams, you feel me? Another great drill for improving that key first step and side to side quickness are lateral shuffles. For this one, spread out cones or any two objects like your sibling's shoes about eight to 10 feet apart. You're gonna shuffle as fast as you can, staying low to the ground from one to the other. As you do this, make sure to look up and not to look at your cones or your shoes or whatever. Try to keep your eyes fixed on one point. Another key thing to work on that I didn't really touch on before is acceleration. Acceleration is key if you wanna beat these tall players off the dribble. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna tell you one of my favorite exercises, and that's hill sprints. Uh, for this exercise, you don't need much equipment, you just need a hill. I just started last week, so it's not gonna show up. Bad burger, one word, go to the channels page, it's there. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sprint all the way up the hill, and then come back down. Sprint all the way up the hill, come back down. Sprint all the way up the hill, and come back down. 
<laughs> this exercise will make you an acceleration monster. The only issue is your legs might hate you after this drill and try to run away from you, but that'll just make you faster. Another thing I can't emphasize enough for short basketball players is defense. Play defense. Coaches love defense. It's one of the most important things they look for in walk-on players or for high school players trying out for their team. Let me tell you a quick story to explain why. My high school coach loved to tell us the story about how he made his college team. He tried out his first and second year and got cut both times. It wasn't until his third year in college that he decided to start working on his defense through the recommendation of an outside coach. During the off season, he spent a lot of time working on his defense and ball denial technique, as well as lateral quickness. And during the tryouts of his third year, he immediately went out there and matched up with the best point guard on the squad. You see, my coach is around five foot nine. Their point guard, who also happened to be the star player on the team, was around six foot three and was averaging around 20 points. During this tryout, he scored zero. Why? Because he couldn't even touch the ball. My coach played denial defense, which is where you put your arm out and put your body in between your man and the passing lane to prevent them from even touching the ball. In order to do this correctly, you have to have great reaction time and lateral quickness, something short people naturally have. In his third year, my coach made his college team, even though he wasn't what you would call an offensive threat. Why, you ask? Because coaches need defense on their practice roster. It's one of the best things that they can have to develop the players on their team. Even if you don't get playing time, the coach will see you as important because you will be able to develop their existing players by being a steady source of tough defense during practice to get them ready for games. Basically, these coaches will see you as practice equipment for their players, but that's precisely what a short player wants to sneak onto a tall team. You may ask, what does defense specifically have to do with being short? It has everything to do with being short. Short players are known to be some of the best defenders just look at Muggsy Bogues. He used his height, or lack thereof, as an annoyance to tall players, a fly in their ears. And when they got impatient, he would take that chance to clamp them up. In high school, I absolutely loved to guard the best player on the other team. Oh my God! Oh my God! He violated! Funny how it goes, my coach also loved for me to guard the best player on the other team. The best player on the team was almost always taller than me, by a margin of around six inches. So why is it that my coach trusted 5'7 Lil Jasper to guard their six foot four best player? It's because I used my quickness and reaction time. And sooner or later, that became a staple part of my game. Now, some of you may be thinking this is a demeaning way to make a team. Who wants to make a team through playing defense? Well, let me tell you something. Right now, I'm a small YouTuber. I have to post all my videos to my Snapchat and Instagram to get 100 views and 10 likes. But why do I keep doing it and investing my time? Because I know I got the sauce. I know it. I know I'm gonna elevate and get to that next level. But for now, I have to solidify myself. I have to plant the roots for future success. This is how you plant the roots. And your coach may not be looking for a short guard right now. Solidify yourself as a tool for the practice roster. And from there, improve your game incrementally to the point where you become a valuable player in both defense and offense. And that is how you become a valuable player on a tall team as a short person. As I mentioned earlier, short people have to work at least twice as hard if you wanna compete at that higher level. For you, that may be high school. For me, it's gonna be college this coming year. But through it all, I have been called the hardest worker by all of my coaches throughout the years. I would leave school and go straight to the gym to work out. I did this instead of hanging out with friends. I made sacrifices because I knew what I want to accomplish. During practice, I would get there first and leave last. I always strive to be the first one to finish that sprint and the first one back. You have to want to prove the point. I work harder than you because as a short person, that's what defines you. It was these little small conscious decisions I made that allowed me to hang with the taller players around me because hard work, and I mean this, hard work always beats talent. And there are absolutely no excuses for not working hard and giving it your all 100% of the time. This past year, I was injured all the way from June to November. I missed my entire off season. I sprained my ankle around uh, 
uh, five too many times and had to wear one of them big ugly boots. While this was happening, I tried to make a YouTube video about how to work out while injured, but I lost the inspiration. Now the point I'm trying to make is that many people would have given in and taken the easy option of rest, saying, there's nothing I can do, I'm injured, I, I can't even run. But that's wrong. There's always something you could do. I stuck to that love the work mentality and kept working. And to connect that to the title of the video, as a short person, there's always something you can do. You have to take it upon yourself to work that much harder. Hashtag fun size buckets. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're feeling particularly generous for your boy, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I have basketball workouts and bodyweight workouts on my channel. If you want to stay in shape, stay sharp during this off season, be sure to check those out. Let's work together. It's been your boy, Jazzy J. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's